got the uh, Celestron C8 uh, Edge HD tube on. Got a reticule eyepiece uh, in the visual back. What I've done is I've used a level uh, on the um, counterweight shaft to make it uh, horizontal. And then I've just moved the uh, azimuth bolts to pick a target on the hill up there. And once I've got you know, once I've got that dead centered, and I've just adjusted the elevation, etc. A wee bit. And what basically what you do is is you slew the scope around the other side. Like this again, make this horizontal. And once it's horizontal, then you can move this back and. Oh, let me just lock that. Uh, then you move this back. And if there's no cone error at all, basically that target will appear in the same place in the eyepiece. But you'll probably find that it's either to the left or to the right. And uh, basically what you need to do is you need to shim one end of this, uh, this dovetail plate. And I've got a fair bit of cone error in this. And basically what you do is just sort of press on the back a wee bit, or press on the front, and you can tell which direction. So if if the target comes into view when you press at the back, basically what it means is you need to shim the front. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And once I've got all the cone error uh, set up on both OTAs, uh, then I'll be able to put put the mount uh, in the observatory. See, I've placed some uh, plastic uh, shims on this end of the uh, dovetail bar. They're uh, 20 millimeter uh, plastic, and that's got the cone error down to an acceptable level, so that when I rotate from side to side, it's pretty much in the centre of the eyepiece.